210 Boxing TV here with Albert Plebe Espinosa. So, uh, breaking news today, Mario Barrios uh, is going to be the co-main event versus um, Jovente uh, Santiago. I believe that's the way you say his first name. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people may not recognize the name, but he actually fought Broner. Yeah. Uh, Broner got the decision over him. Very, very disputed decision. Uh, what do you think about Mario Barrios coming back, San Antonio co-main? He's had two really hard fights, Tank and Thurman. Do you feel like this is the right fight for him? I do think this is the right fight for Mario Barrios. You know, I'm a big Mario Barrios guy. You know what I mean? He's a Texas boy, San Antonio guy, South Texas. I really like Mario Barrios. Uh, he's always impressed me, especially when I met him. Uh, the way I met Mario Barrios is not the way everybody met Mario Barrios. I was sparring at the time. Uh, back when I was fighting, I was sparring uh, Ricky Burns, uh, John Ryder, uh, and Kevin Mitchell, who was a WBC and Ring Magazine champion at 135 at the time. And I, I had been sparring these guys, and then in walks this skinny kid, bro, this uh, skinny kid. Uh, I had no idea who he was. They told me he was uh, signed to PBC, and I kind of thought, you know, maybe he was a little out of his element, but man, did, little did I know I was fucking wrong. Uh, first bell rings, and I'm like, all right, let me check out this kid, man. He goes in there and puts a beating, bro, on the current at that time. WBC and Ring Magazine champion, which is Kevin Mitchell. Kevin is a good friend of mine. Kevin, much respect. Um, and he stopped him in the second round, bro. Busted his nose through the, through the headgear. Busted his nose wide fucking open, bro. Uh, that's the Mario Barrios, that action-packed Mario Barrios that I've been waiting to see. He's been a little bit more technical. You know, El Azteca's a fucking warrior, and I know he can fucking handle it. And Santiago is no walk in the park. You know, he gave Adrian Broner a run for his money. But realistically, Adrian Broner is not what he used to be. And you can't compare Adrian Broner to Mario Barrios. And a lot of people are gonna say in what way, shape, or form, but I'm saying I'm telling you, Mario Barrios, there's a, a Nastic warrior in there waiting to be unleashed, and I'm hoping I, I, I see that now, now that his sister's also in his corner working his corner. Selena's very, very good fighter as well, and uh, she knows the game and I'm expecting him to do real good. This fight, you know. Cobain here in San Antonio, it's going to be a hell of a fight, bro. Uh, a lot of people are going to show up for that fight. Uh, I know I am, you know what I mean? And Mario Barrios is a hometown champion, bro, and a much respected guy. And right now, this is a hot spot for champions with Franco, uh, Rodriguez, and everybody out here. And we have a lot of up and coming fighters. And again, the RGB event that's going to happen in March 12th, it's going to be a great show. Uh, but I think Mario Barrios should deliver, and we should see the Azteca. Um, come back to life, bro. And he took two hard fights. You know what I mean? Uh, fought Thurman and fought Tank. Those are very, very good guys. You know what I mean? And he fought him at, at, at a higher division. At, he jumped up for Thurman, if I'm not mistaken. And I think um, he deserves it. He deserves a, a good win. This is a good opponent. And I think we'll see a. Uh, We'll see Mario Barrios rejuvenated again and coming out and being the Azteca Warrior. I know he is. Do you feel like this is going to build him back up, being in San Antonio, the whole crowd? A guy, a guy like getting Mario, a win like that, the confidence. A, a guy, a guy like Mario Barrios. If you mm -hmm. know Mario Barrios and you see Mario Barrios, he doesn't need uh, anything to do with his persona. It's something to lift him up. He's always ready for action, bro. Even though he had he lost the tank, he was winning the fight, but he got stopped against a very strong counter puncher, very strong and and uh, prime Tank Davis. And then he fought one time. Uh, one time is people discredited, so, discredited him so much because he's been inactive. He lost to fucking Manny Pacquiao, bro. That's uh, a legend walking, bro. Manny Pacquiao still fuck up half of the people out there in the welterweight division. So I think uh, Mario Barrio stepping up and doing a good job with those guys and doing, you know, working the way he did is... Uh, it's good. It doesn't. It doesn't leave a bad mark on him. It's just every great champion loses, but comes back. And Mario Barrios, I know he's been itching to come back. And the boy looks big, looks ready to roll. And like I said, with family in the corner, I don't see him doing something wrong. He's gonna be doing great. Does this help the card? Because a lot of people are kind of complaining, like Vargas Foster. That's not that big of a, a main event. But then you put Mario Barrios in the co-main, and then it's like, okay, now everyone's like, now I got a reason to go. You know what I mean? Vargas and Foster is a fucking hell of a fight. The only people that don't think it's a hell of a fight is the casual boxing fan. But casual boxing fans are what make make the boxing the boxers money because yeah. there's more casuals than there is boxing fans. 
But uh, obviously Mario Barrios helps. Mario Barrios is gonna help. Mario Barrios is a big draw in town, a big well-known guy. So I think uh, it's gonna help him. It's gonna help the card a whole bunch. Not only a little bit, but a whole bunch. Not saying that Vargas and Foster need the help. All I'm saying, in any town that they, they would have made this fight and they get a local champion or former champion, it's gonna help. It's just, it's just common sense. All right, man, thank you so much. Yeah.